Welcome everyone, it's Vapor Drake Mar. It's time for us more Raid Shadow Legends. We are going to be continuing on our march of glory. Last time, I uh, was doing a lot of stuff with the Minotaur. We will continue to do stuff with the Minotaur, obviously. Doing Tag Arena as usual because I need to have these tokens. This time, not for Dragstar on this account, but we will be doing it for the other account as well. The main, the main purpose of um, doing this is to make sure I have the gold bars for the energy fuel. Um, energy fuel is something of a premium on an account like this, especially when you get low on gems from having to farm food. Because, yes, farming food is a major part of this type of account. And at this point, since you don't have a direct star, you have to rely on farming food by other means. Uh, like far farming food, like get getting energy fuel. The game doesn't give you a lot of energy fuel at this point in the game. Like level ups are extremely far between. So you generally have to rely on daily quest gems and tagarina tagarina does have some energy fuel that one can um obtain now this energy fuel isn't just used to level champions it's also used to um what's it used for it's used for it's used for minotaur Um, Minotaur is a major area where you can get your, uh, energy fuel. Not, no, like, spend your energy fuel. Because the thing about Minotaur is he gives you scrolls. Now, I am gonna invest in the masteries. I'm not exactly 100% sure if these are the best masteries, but I'm gonna do it anyway for now for the mission. I'm going to try to decide which masteries are the best for that. I'm going to be, of course, doing the full gauntlet of Tag Arena. Because um, I, I get rewards still. It's just they're not the same rewards. Um, right now... The main thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get enough energy fuel, like enough bars in general, that I can buy both. I can buy both um, rare books and energy fuel and shards. So I'm trying to get to that point. Um, shards is a big deal because each. Each ancient shard, as you save it up, you get more and more likely later on to get really powerful, rare, or epic champions. Um, epics would be preferred because I don't have many. I don't have many epics. And that's a fact. I do not have as many epics as I would like. And even less epics at 6 star. Now, we're going to do some... Arena. Um, I actually want to do something weird in the mind. I'm going to do something weird in the mind, boys. I'm going to do something weird in the mind. Yeah. But do something weird in the mind. Make an arena team based on three of those guys. 
That was hilarious. Um, let's, um, do this a bit different, shall we? Okay, just taking out their damage. Ooh, he does some shocking damage. I don't know what rarity he is, but he does some, some good damage. Whoever this guy is. Romero. Yeah, he does some good damage. Um. This one, I'm a little bit unsure about. Hmm. That's a lot of force affinity. That's a lot of force affinity. Um okay, yeah, this was this was a bad plan. Bad plan. Okay. Oh, all right. We can do that. Hell, we'll even make it budget. Oh, not Vogoth, damn it. I, meant, I said I was going to make it budget. What can we do for budget? Um, that'll do. Turn me to control him. There we go. Um, a lot of this is really annoying. This is doable, but we're going to have to change up some rules. Let's try the blender team. Okay, then. Okay, that, that helps. Yeah, decreasing her turn meter is going to be big. We're going to want to focus the Manaya. Um, because Manaya is actually kind of strong. Ow. That guy hurts. Okay, first things first, I want to target this... Rotting Mage. Um, as weird as that sounds. And then I want to target you. Manaya. 
Because I know everyone's like, BM's Manaya, but I swear to God, Manaya is not as weak as what everyone says she is. Like, they, they call her really weak, but I, I don't believe it. Okay, we'll we'll stick with that for now. Um, claim it and then go beat a campaign boss three times. Um, and we're gonna do some dragons lair. Uh, yeah, I did the shards with mystery shards. Yeah, we're gonna beat a campaign boss three times. But who would I want to do? Let's do them in order of when I see them. So yeah, that's going to be the food for the next rank six. That will be the next rank six, 100%. Um... Yeah, that that will be, that will a hundred percent be. I see a lot of bad El Kazar. I don't like to say I see a lot of bad El Kazar, but I do. One day, one day the game will give me a bad El Kazar instead of something like Manaya. But like I said, Manaya is not as rubbish as people like to tell you she is. Like she's not token trader worthy, although they think of it her like that. But she she's not bad. Like, she's not terrible. I'm going to keep shooting him. Okay. Okay, we got him. Uh, might as well do big gun, even though I don't see him much. Uh, we will be doing a massive food farming session. Make no mistake, I will be doing that. I just not today, because I want to save up my gems for that. Now, I won't be doing Minotaur right this second, but. I do want to show, well, I'll do a Minotaur after I upgrade some Masteries. Um, if we don't have it, we'll do some Minotaur, but I also want to do Dragon's Lair. Dragon's Lair is far more um, entertaining, if you will, than, um, Yeah, I'll do more too. Why not? I've got to keep these guys pristine because these are the, the food for the next, the next crazies. These are the food. Um, this does not mean that I'm not going to be farming in the future. I just want to make sure that. I'm getting my affairs in order for the next Doom Tower rotation, which is coming up soon. In fact, it's coming up so soon, I might as well do some Doom Tower. Lull. That's what happens when you kill him. Even if you block revive him, he revives someone else. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. Get that, get our gems. Soon we'll be getting a void shard. Always want to do those dailies. You never want to skip out on the dailies. Okay, so... I think I'm going to show 
after I empty out my tokens, because you you want to empty out your tokens for for this. Yeah, I want I want to empty them out because we we can empty out our tokens, then we can get some glory here. I will eventually um. I will eventually pull shards. I just am not pulling shards today. Because the thing about being an FTP, one of the exclusive things about it is you've got to... You've got to be conservative. You can't be uh, blowing your shards willy-nilly. Now... We're going to go try to do, um, that, um, hell, why not? There we go! There we go! Hell yeah! Oh yeah! That Arbiter mission, yeah! to do fire knight castle really okay we'll be doing that later um because we have to actually do dragon slayer because i've been ignoring it trying to do the mission um but yeah i've you don't understand i've been wanting that to do that so bloody long now if you want to know and we'll get a taste of it so there's two methods that I approach this boss. One is this. We're only going to show this for a little bit. Now, this does not mean that I'm not going to do more scrolls for my champs because here's the problem. Kale doesn't have War Master. Uh... Drexthar does not have Giant Slayer. This is a problem. Um, because without those, we are in trouble. Um, because without War Master and Giant Slayer... You generally do much less damage, and I mean much less damage to clan boss. Because what those abilities do is they allow you. So we'll do this a couple times. This is my standard method that I use to kill a uh, uh, Minotaur. It's my standard method. Um. I do, I do manual occasionally, but I want to show at least what I usually do whenever I have multi-battles available lately. I've been spending them on the Minotaur. It works because I have an army of 60s that have okay gear, so might as well run them through the uh, Minotaur gauntlet for things like Arbiter missions and stuff. Uh, granted, I don't get man many multi-battles because obviously this is a free-to-play, but I I do a fair amount of um, this uh, while I'm like trying to learn from other content creators, etc., etc. Other content creators who are f have far deeper pockets than I do, making them able to pull all sorts of shards. Because I... Oh, speaking of stuff that I got that was cheap was uh, Bloodborne and Doom, like I was saying previously. Yeah, those, those are um, something. Yeah, I have to remember that I'm being watched all the time. I have to keep remembering that so I don't do anything stupid. I was like, I was reaching towards my face, and I'm like, no, no, don't do that, don't do anything with that, just, just don't. Uh, break, break all the bad habits. 
What is this going on? Come on. Fight it out. These waves are very annoying. I'm still I'm still getting used to the fact that the game has a face cam because I have been doing no face cam for years. We're only going to be doing this a little longer. And then, like, on the third one, I'll show it manual. And then we'll, we'll transfer to the Dragon's Lair. I still have to do a lot of this off-screen. Like, a lot of Minotaur off-screen. Because... Why? Minotaur... What about Minotaur? He... <sighs> You have to fight him a lot to get your scrolls. <sighs> it takes 350 scrolls. 350 scrolls to get War Master. That's right. 350 scrolls, excluding the 240 scrolls that you have to get for the rest of the masteries above it, more than 240 scrolls. Because it takes 120 scrolls for like each tier 4 mastery and 80 scrolls for each tier 3. So it's. The cost of masteries goes up exponentially when it comes to how much I have to put in to try to get it to go. Um, so yeah, we got a thing, and then we're going to replay, and then we're going to turn the auto off. This is how you do it manually. So, this is, I don't use this as much. I use this mainly, mainly for videos, but this is manual Minotaur runs. I used to only do this exclusively manual, but I don't do that anymore because of just the raw amount of times I actually have to fight this guy gets very tedious um, it gets very tedious like this is not the type of boss where you can just beat him once you could beat him once and you're fine it's not that type of boss it really is not that type of boss. Not that I'm not going to do more League of Legends. I'm finally gaining my footing on League of Legends. It's taken a while, but I'm finally getting better at it. Now, if you're like, but... Why, like, it took you no effort to auto the Minotaur. Well, the thing about the autoing of the Minotaur is that I had to put a lot of invested effort to auto the Minotaur. That's the truth of the matter. Because I had to level every one of these suckers to 60 by hand, practically, especially the first one. And I had to spend all sorts of resources getting these champions to where they are this was not an overnight or easy um, achievement this this is uh, the result of tremendous amounts of sustained effort and this effort is gonna have to continue because I have to do some other stuff as well so we're gonna do some dragon slayer um, And then I'm going to later on show some other crazy stuff. But first, I, I, had to, I had to try to finish this Minotaur mission. I had to do a boatload of Minotaur off screen to even get to the number of scrolls. And then, of course, I have to try to eventually get Giant Slayer. And I have to try to get that second 
the second Drex star in the other account to complete the demon spawn that are easy to get. Or free to play, I mean. Not even easy to get, just free to play things. Okay. Enough of that. We're going to start with Dragon 13 and go up. Now, again, there's two methods of doing dragon, but I'm going to only show the manual one right now. You can just try to run your comp on auto and see if it'll beat dragon. It's uh, it's not a guarantee, but yeah. But yeah, I, I did a lot of Minotaur for a reason, because I'm trying to progress... Um, my masteries because I have not I have not taken a serious uh, look into masteries for a long time um, so now I am taking a very serious look into that um, because I'm pretty sure that once I get a lot of these uh, suckers masteries complete, um, we're going to see some very high amounts of clan boss damage. Now, we can see um, what can we see? We can see our progress of Kale's Masteries. Because I want to complete Masteries on here on Kale without blowing 800 gems. But once you also realize how hard it is to, to upgrade a champion's Masteries to full without blowing 800 gems. You'll see why even some free-to-play players will do their first two champions They'll do their first two champions with, um, they'll do their first two champions with, uh, gems and then Minotaur just because of how actually incredibly difficult it is to complete a champion's masteries with Minotaur. Uh, I've only ever done the gems thing on here once with El Hain. You won't see it, but um, yeah, you won't see it, but it's there. Okay, no, 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 Mister, Mister Dragon, you're not getting away with that for free. Sorry, bud. Um, we will be doing the higher ones of dragon. I think we can do it. Okay. Because the main thing is I don't want to be the bottom of dragon's lair tournament. Because that would suck. So, I'm just going to use up... The remainder of that, do some arena, that's what I think I'm going to do, some arena. Because um, I need to do arena. My nose is being weird in the mind. Well, actually, I need to do Clan Boss, because without Clan Boss, it's not going to look like I did all this. Because the Clan Activity Score won't show all the dungeons I did today. Because I actually did a lot of dungeons. I will be re-gearing my Cold Heart. That will happen. Um, the highest I can do, because I didn't improve my Taragi and Apothecary, is probably Dragon, I'd like to say, 
this one, like Dragon Eight, like Dragon Fifteen, Dragon Sixteen requires you to like actually have an apothecary that's online, which mine isn't. I'm thinking. I'm seriously thinking of um. Yeah, decreasing accuracy on this guy is really useful. Ally Protect is really good versus Dragon, but I'm I'm starting to think that I have to I'm starting to think that I have to either improve Taragi or Apothecary because both of them they're useful in so many areas in the game or another damage dealer like Dark Elhain. Um, but yeah, the peel of Taragi Apothecary, you can't... You really can't um, underestimate it. And one day, I will be developing both of those champions because both Taragi and Apothecary, they're incredible. Like... And if you could compare them with a Vogoth and a Vergus, you could make make sure that like one target stays alive an incredibly long amount of time. Because you'd have like double ally protect, Vogoth passive, and a massive heal. So if you combine all of that together, that's a uh, that's a lot of protection. Which is good for squishy damage dealers. Because a lot of damage dealers are squishy. They can't... They can't take the heat. They can't. Um, yeah, let's just do it. This is the highest I can do, I think, without the special... Without the special upgrade. Now, there is another champion, though, that can do a lot of stuff similar to them. Um, is uh, Drockle the Gaunt. Now, I've heard through the grapevine that Drockle the Gaunt is actually a very good champion. Um, is even used in Ultimate Nightmare Clan Boss. I don't know why all the elites tell me he's rubbish, but I don't really care at this point. Here, in this situation, you're going to want to focus her, specifically. Because if you don't... Um, she will take over. You really don't want that. Um, these enemies... And I'm going to say this now, are extremely durable. Um, you need Savage Gear Smacks to really make short work of them. Um, decreasing their defense is a big part of this. But yes. Um, it's, it's, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to do more masteries. Like People are like, oh, because you did the Minotaur mission, you're not going to do, like the one an Arbiter, you're not going to do masteries. I am. Because one thing that the Arbiter mission doesn't give me is I don't, like, I have to get tier 6. I have to get tier 6 masteries. Because it's the only way. Like, I have to get T6 masteries for Kale and Drexthar. In order, and, and maybe even Ninja. 
so I could like make a team based on them and then do a lot with it. I've learned recently that Volgoth is actually a better champion than I previously thought um, in terms of defense which may explain why I actually put him in my clan boss team over Valerie because the leech that he provides and the amount of protection is actually very high because basically what happens is as long as he lives um, as long as Vogoth lives he puts this not only a leech uh, but he puts a um, a lot of protection on your team. He heals for a percentage of the damage dealt. And most of the time, when you're trying to protect people, the damage dealt is usually very high. So he heals for a very large amount of that damage dealt. Notice. Notice how much he healed for. Yeah. Now that's not all though. I can make a more defensive team with Taragi and Apothecary um, involved. And of course, we're going to be doing more damage than ever before to Dragon Slayer once I get Giant Slayer going and War Master on these suckers. Because that's going to make us do a percent of the damage. And go for that. Oh, brilliant. See, and the leech makes it so that she heals for a percentage of that. And even though she doesn't have lifesteal gear, voila, she gets health benefits from that heart seeker. And this also drastically shortens the time it takes to kill a dragon vastly that's another reason why he said I, I got two cold hearts it's nothing and I'm like are we talking the same are we talking about the same game are we talking about the same game cold brew cuz two cold hearts is not nothing one cold heart can completely change an account oh I got a quest done nice Okay, so how are we doing here? Did we get away from the bottom? Uh, yes, we did. Yes, we did. Okay, good, nice. Granted, I'll do a little bit more. Um, but yes, I'm happy about that. Gonna help out Broadma. By a Lemur and a word. These are all good for. Um, certain uses, if you will. Now. This wouldn't be a video. Without me doing at least one termite battle. Oh, yes. Now, the funny thing about the termite is now I know when the Hydra is going to join the termite. So the Hydra is going to join the termite sometime on December the 5th after the next Doom Tower reset. That's when the Hydra is going to join the termite. If I'm honest, that's when it's going to happen. Now I'm going to try to climb up further up the Doom Tower. I don't know how high I will get. Most of the delay was due to the fact that I had to rank 6 another champion to do it. Um, I may end up having to do that again. 
all depending on what team comps I come up with. Because the thing that's very annoying about um, Bommel is his mechanic. Um, the way his mechanics work is very disgusting. Because he basically forces you to play an entirely different game. And he forces you to play an entirely different game to the point where you generally may end up having to raise champions that you normally would never use. Like Templar. Like most people don't use Templar at all. Most people ignore that champion to the ends of the earth. But unfortunately for me, I am going to have to not ignore Templar at all. I'm going to have to actually potentially promote Templar just to kill that boss. As dumb as that sounds, because he's probably the only champion on this account that is sanctioned to actually be able to kill him that a free-to-play can get a hold of. Kind of like Burr and Geary. I don't like to say it, but that's, that's kind of how it is. Now, I guess... Templar has some niche uses against waves and wave content, but he's not like crazy good or anything. Oh, I forgot to put Vogoth in there. It's fine. Most of you will only get a hold of Valerie. You guys won't get a hold of Vogoth. This is a, a far more realistic setup, if you will. And besides, I hardly use Valerie around anyway. I mean, I, I could use her in Arena, thinking about it again. Um, I might have to do some more Arena. Just because in order to get Triple Star, which is what is a great thing to aim for, you'll want 12 Arena. You'll want um, 2 Clan Boss, 12 Arena. 20 dungeons and a um, and a lot of other stuff um, but what that also reminds me is that I have to actually I actually have to put ally protect on him constantly because he doesn't have any form of he doesn't have any form of excess healing otherwise and that's part of the problem because see when you don't have Vogoth on this team you then realize you don't really have much in the way of uh, lifesteal And that actually can drastically shorten the fight. Because like I said, Leech is a really powerful debuff against Clan Boss. Anything that puts a Leech. Like I might also be able to show that with a Deacon. Um, on Clan Boss. Because yeah, Leech is a big deal. It keeps champions alive that normally would not be able to stay alive. That's why Leech is such a big deal. Anything that inflicts Leech. I'm going to keep the poisons on it. See, an ally protect also is really useful here. Oh, we're screwed. We are so screwed. See, the leech 
Leech is a really valuable debuff. I want to put that out there. Before anyone gets any ideas that Leech is not a valuable debuff. Okay, do we have it? No, we don't. We have to do at least one more arena. At least one more arena. Um, you know what? I want to do something weird in the mind. I want to do something weird in the mind. Hey. It's weird in the mind. Armager battles. <laughs> uh.